trend has been spotted sneaking into Paris fashion shows. Sneakers. Seen in every conceivable combination, sneakers are finally in with the international fashion crowd. They got very popular. For example, businesswoman, they're wearing like super elegant or like just working outfits and they just take our sneakers because it's comfortable. So I like that the function and the, the appearance and the, the style is like emerged and it's more fun to wear like a colorful sneakers and wear something very like elegant or like chic. Sportswear meets chic. At Chanel's latest haute couture show, sneakers replaced the high heels beneath the evening gowns. Fashion journalist Marcos Ebner was at the show, which some called a sensation. When uh, the ultimate street look of the old couture lo when the ultimate street look has arrived on the catwalk, something marvelous has happened. It was also good for haute couture, which is all too often rather heavy. And here you will reach the high heel wearers who think to themselves, I could wear this around town or to work, especially when it's Chanel. Then it's somehow been blessed. In custom-made, glitter-covered sneakers, fashioned from lace, tweed or snakeskin, Chanel's models daintily skip down the steps. The celebrity guests also enjoy the new freedom of movement. The trainers with the dresses, which I'm sure was a little nod to me. Good to run in. Who knew that you could run in couture? Karl Lagerfeld knew that. Exclusive haute couture sneakers are the latest thing with competitor Dior as well. Creative director Raf Simons has created his own line. He's already done tennis shoes in cooperation with sportswear maker Adidas. I'm relatively sure. I'm fairly certain that Raf Simon's collaboration with Adidas for his own label is what inspired him to think about sneakers for Dior's haute couture. If you've ever been to Adidas in Herzogenaurach and seen a bit in the factory there and given the subject some thought, you wouldn't be surprised, and I wasn't, to see those haute couture sneakers on the Dior catwalk. In the trend-setting Paris boutique Colette, sneakers are among the hottest-selling items these winter days. Here, fashion-conscious shoppers can find original designs with skull and crossbones, comic or tennis ball motifs, alongside the latest designer models by Pierre Hardy and Valentino. This pair can be had for 490 euros. Yeah, 30 ans. Well, 30 years ago, sneakers were still meant for sports, and the focus was on helping the wearer achieve the best possible performance. Today it's different. The sneaker has become a lifestyle product for everyday wear, and the demands on it have changed. Primarily, our customers are looking at how a shoe is designed and what kind of look it's got. Sneakers are also the latest in footwear for the man about town and in the recent men's fashion shows in Paris by Yohi Yamamoto, Valentino and Louis Vuitton. Fashion is indeed getting sportier. And sportswear more fashionable. This season's models by Nike have a glittery finish and raised heels, very much in line with the sneaker wedges, as they're called, designed a few years ago by Isabelle Marin. That was actually the real revolution. When does the first sneaker on heels show up? And what would a sneaker on heels look like? This Isabelle Moron sneaker is probably the most frequently copied sneaker there is. Adidas has just brought out its vintage Stan Smith model with wedge heels added. Its competitor Nike has revived classics like the Air Max and the Blazer and seen them turn into bestsellers. And shoe buyers even like to customize their models. Topping off the trend are several special editions, such as the fur version for the Chinese Year of the Horse. The pair runs about 140 euros, relatively affordable for haute couture models right off the catwalk.